<clears throat> now, let's get started. Uh, you know, love is such a beautiful thing. And also, it can be so fragile. It can last for a long time, or it can be, it can last for only a few days, like Dennis Rodman and Madonna. But somebody, a, a couple that I didn't expect to break up was Iman Shumpert and Tiana Taylor. I really didn't expect that. And it's just been, uh, she came over the, over the line the other day. Um, I guess there was already some, some rumors. I, this caught me off guard, but there, apparently there was already some rumors that they were kind of like being separated. So Tiana Taylor took to Instagram to tell us, I, I, not too much on, not too much on my bestie. In all fairness, Iman and I are separated and have been for a while. To be a thousand percent clear, infidelity ain't one of the reasons for our departure. We are still the best of friends, great business partners, and are one hell of a team when it comes to co-parenting our two beautiful children. Most importantly, we are family, and in the 10 years together, seven years married, we ain't ever play, play or, or about that. We just keep y'all asses out the group chat, LOL, which is the reason we've been able to successfully and peacefully separate with all, without all the outside noise. The only reason I'm even sharing this part of the chat is because the narratives are getting a little out of hand and it's unfair to all parties involved. I hope this provided some clarity for y'all. Okay, auntie, taking y'all back out the group chat. Bye. Which is like a rose emoji. Aw. They just seem like they're just like a super fun couple to me. I didn't see it coming. Now, some of the comments in the shorts uh, on you on uh, Unico Williams on YouTube, some of the people, some people were saying they saw it coming. Some people were saying that they saw it coming. I didn't. I, I didn't, man. But, I, you know, that, that's smart is to you know, not make things public. I know typically when I'm in a relationship, I'm not public at all because then people get to coming in and saying all type of stuff. And when you put your business out there, they give people room to speculate and all that stuff. So, I mean, she did it the right way. And she felt like when it was a comfortable time to let the world know and knew that it wasn't going to mess up the peace that they had. She went ahead and she went ahead and let it go. She, she said, here, y'all want to know? Y'all have y'all been here. Let me clear it up for you. But what you won't do is say that it's because Iman cheated, because that's where everybody automatically assumes when it comes to NBA player and somebody um, and, and them getting divorced so or separating or whatever. It always has something to do with that. So that being said, uh, prayers up for them, man, and their baby. And I'm glad that, you know, they're able to do amicable stuff. Yeah, you know, they, they can, you know, they separated and they seem to be cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. He, you know, they probably get to come over every now and then, you know what I mean? But you know what? What what also what also bothered me a little bit. Now this this messed me up. Now when they were talking about uh, Jeannie Mai and Young Young Jeezy. Now Young Jeezy is you know about forty five years old, something like that, and she's like a little younger or something to that point. But shout out to them. They had a beautiful baby. But I was like, I can't believe that they divorced that quickly in a sense. But I'm here's the in a sense part. But it's because they have been together for so long. And when I say so long, not that long at all. But they got married and they had the baby. And just to a couple of weeks ago, I guess Jeezy's dropping a book, right? And uh, Jeannie Mai and their baby, they, they made the cutest little video. You know, they, they was praying and being thankful for daddy and all that. The next week, here you go. Jeezy is leaning on Rolls Royces and Phantoms in his, in his Tims and Boots looking like 2000, 2004 Snowman. And... He talking about I'm only taking certain things with me, whatever. We don't know what that's what 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 what's that about, Jeezy? Then then boom, it came out. He got the divorce. It wasn't her, so he got the divorce, and that's that that blew me. I didn't. What do y'all think happened? What do y'all think happened in that situation? Because I want to know. I want to know what was said. If you ask me, I just, I want to know what happened because that baby that we they just told us what the little girl name was. They went like almost a year to not telling us what the girl name is. Now you getting a divorce. That's 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 wild. But man, prayers up for them. I hope they're able to co-parent and all that stuff. You know, people. Some people said, you know, she went ahead and got her got got her black baby, got the little mixed baby now, and then the mission complete. Because you know what she said before. It's a very viral clip. She said that she likes a little dark meat on the side in regards to her men. Black men are attractive, but she said lean uh, white meat makes her mean and lean so let that jeezy heard her say it and he still did it but you know jeezy like to mix arm and hammer with his coat that's what he said so prayer, prayers up for everybody thanks for watching 
Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Don't forget, every Thursday, the full podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Mama, I'm on Spotify. Overall 99 ENT bringing you videos from Friday all the way to Friday. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. I holla.